Hello lovelies and welcome to today's video. Today we will be talking about Yule or winter solstice and some ideas for you as well as a couple for family friendly as well. Um, so the themes of Yule or winter solstice are working with light, the birth of the sun or the sun's return in a lot of various pagan background stories from thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. It's a goddess giving birth to the literal sun, like the S-U-N. So the Christians obviously took that and made it like the son of God. So the sun's return and work of peace, love, and well-being. You will see a lot of things that the if you were not familiar with um, pagan tradition, you'll see a lot of stuff that the Christians took and more I speak as well. So when is Yule and the winter solstice? Well, winter solstice is December 21st, so that's when it starts. And Yule is a 12-day thing. Not everyone celebrates it for, for 12 days. A lot of witches now just celebrate it on that day, the 21st, but many still do the 12 days of Yule, which is where the 12 days of Christmas came from. Um, so it ends on January 1st. So candles, music, feast, gift giving, cakes, fruit cakes actually originated from this, and clove, apple cider, nutmeg, all of that great stuff. So the first and probably one of the most important things that has stayed a tradition from the old ways and still into the new ways of pagans um, is the Yule Log. But it's diff a little different now. Many people do it very different. Um, so if you have a fireplace, you're lucky you can do it the old way and get a big... No, you can't it can't be one that you cut. It has to be something that you find in nature. Some probably disagree with that, but many say it has to be one that's already that you find. But you get a log, a big one, and you dress it with the oils, which I'll get into later on, of the season, um, greenery, carvings with ruins and deities, and that will bring peace, goodwill, prosperity, and love into your life as well as your loved one's lives. Um, you burn it for the 12 nights of Yule. Again, if you don't celebrate it for 12 nights, you can just burn it that day. Um, for people that just want to do it for a circle and want it to be a small Yule log, you literally can just get like a stick that you can that is thick enough that you can still do your rune carvings and de decorate it and dress it and you can burn it either in a cauldron or a pot or something ceramic something that won't start on fire and just do it during your winter solstice circle um what you can do afterwards is take the ashes from the yule log and you can create a talisman um, in a, put it in a magical bag or in um, a little glass container and wear it or keep it on you at all times or you can put it on your altar for the, re for the whole, whole next year. Um, so once Yule's 12 days are up, it, it will help bring all the good fortune and all the things that you wished for during um, either your ritual, if you do one, your circle, um, or while you watch the Yule Log burn, um, which is a family type tradition to, to watch it as it burns and to put out the thoughts of what you want in the, after the sun's return. Uh, so, also for people who don't have fireplaces, again, you can do exactly like what the people that just do it in a circle do, and you get like a thick uh, log and do it that way. Um, another tradition that comes from the, like, the Nordic and Germanic um, pagan backgrounds is the Yule tree. <laughs> Wonder where, in, okay, we're not even going to get into that. So, when decorating a Yule tree, you can either do it as you have all your life as a Christmas tree, um, 
because there's really no difference except you don't want anything obviously Jesus related um, but also adding some natural earthy pieces is really awesome to do so getting like pine cones or um, putting like real poinsettias on it or you know putting like natural objects into the tree and um, otherwise you know just decorate it family thing to do um, during the 12 days is a great time for dream divination um, for pro prophetic uh, think, uh, thoughts will are supposed to have come to you during these 12 days of Yule so if you dream divination or, or like dream journaling more like legit prophetic things will come to you so maybe just like with uh, Mabon it's a good time to kind of do some shadow work on yourself um, uh, I'm gonna put a few recipes below but one that I'm going to say right now which I think you can all remember is um, a winter relaxer tea and that's two parts spearmint and one part chamomile and that's really good to drink while you watch the Yule log burn so that's why I brought it up right now okay there's also Yule tarot spreads um, there's many out there one that I'm going to just quick talk about is because I think it's kind of fun just because of the name uh, it's the Solstice Tree Tarot Spread. I'm getting this from a book that I'm going to recommend, this tarot spread. But here is this picture of the spread. So that's how it's going to look. Um, Alright, so the trunk of a tree, card one, which is on the bottom, is a signifier card. It's you or the person that you're doing the reading of. And then for the lower part of the tree, it goes two, three, four. So number two represents your ideas, number three represents your inspirations, and number four is your plans. And then for the middle, it's five and six, and five represents the process by which you will bring your plans to fruitation, and number six shows any interventions or obstacles that might affect your progress. So things that might get in the way. And then the tip of the tree at number seven is the final realization of your plans, the gift of your completion. So what will bring harmony and all that. So I think that's pretty cool. They also have in this book a uh, midwinter solstice tarot spread. And yeah. And then they have a bunch of other ideas in here and a bunch of recipes. I actually recommend getting each of them there's one for each um, pagan holiday I have only right now Yule and Samhain but it's really awesome I really recommend them so I will put the link below I got mine on Amazon because they're pretty cheap but uh, moving on <laughs> don't want to take up the whole time with that things that you could include the kids with if you have kids as you saw the image for this video is a piece of art that my daughter did at her um, early head start uh, which is like a little group thing for young kids and they were supposed to make little Christmas light things I was thankful that they didn't do anything that was you know whatever and of course I wrote happy Yule and she did her thing and she hers was the only abstract one where you could see the paint is all over the place and so she obviously is an abstract artist like myself so those are some ideas like you know may, uh, doing some type of painting artwork things like that um, they can help decorate the house and they can help decorate the Yule log as well and um, there is a thing called the Leaves of Gratitude, which uh, I also found in here. Those, this and the tarot thing came, and I found it on other sites as well and other books that I've read, this idea of the Leaves of Gratitude. And this is a family 
thing that you can have your whole family do. So you cut leaf shapes from green or gold construction paper and have your family members use colored metallic or glitter pens to write expressions of gratitude on each leaf and um, then you tie them into your Yule tree. So here's another idea for your Yule tree. And there will be expressions of your gratitudes and wishes for the year. And then when the season's over January 1st, you can burn them in the final fire of the Yule log, saying goodbye to Yule until the next year's Yule. So I think that's a pretty good good thing too. So, um, you know, it's it's a way of thinking and putting out wishes and stuff like that. You can also use the lives for putting wishes or um, like magical things that you want, like putting out there. You want more money, more prosperity. You want, you want love. Blah 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 blah. You can put those on there too. But I, I really like more of the idea of the gratitude. The kids can be involved with that, and you can try and get some of your non-pagan family members to do that, and I don't see it as being that hard to get them to do it, and then you put it around your tree, and all is good, and then burn it on the final 12th day. Um, so at home, for your altar, this is the final thing I'm going to talk about, you can, you should have gold and white candles, you can also have green, red, or a deep blue, um, but gold and white are the best to have. A cloth, preferably red, uh, but green or gold work just as well. Um, small mirrors to represent, like the ponds, to represent the lakes, the water elements. Um, seasonal deities, if you can, get actual statues, um, or, uh, you can get just images of the triple goddess, and of course, any of the gods that were re representative of the sun, or the goddesses that gave birth to the sun, which I'm not going to give the whole list, because then I'd fill up my whole video, but you can find it <laughs> very easily um, are great representations. And then the stones are turquoise, onyx, my two favorites, and then uh, tanzanite. So those are great to have. Um, tanzanite and onyx are great for the protection and negativity and getting rid of all that from the year. And turquoise helps with like the psychic travel, the astral travel, and all the extreme psychic visions that happen throughout this time. And then the flowers and trees are the very obvious ones that we use for Christmas, you know. Um, ironic, isn't it? Uh, poinsettias, cedar, evergreen, pine, uh, fir, holly, and then pecan. Pecans are really awesome to have. That pe giving like making like a pecan cookie or some type of good with pecans if you're going to have an altar for a circle to give to the gods and goddesses is a v really great idea for this um, season and the animals that you can have represented if you so choose are bear, raven, cow, um, reindeer, <laughs> who would have guessed, and horse and there's many oils, but the main two that I find to be the most representative, there's many, but is cardamom and cardam cardamom and cinnamon. And then incense to burn is frankincense myrrh. And um, nutmeg is also a great uh, seasoning for the time for this time of the year. I do have a bunch of Yule products. I have Yule, um, what, I, what I call potion, but it's really just this uh, very concentrated essential oil blend that is wearable and is a rollerball that is also good for altars and your Yule log, whatever. Um, I have a Yule potion, as I call it, that comes with a turquoise 
a large stone that's this big, which usually just sell for $3 themselves. So I have those two being sold together, and then I have a Yule Massage Oil and Yule Spray bath spray or body spray or room spray and Yule bath bomb which does not leave residue in the bath like my herbal ones because there isn't any herbal there's just ground nutmeg and ground cinnamon besides the essential oils which wash away uh so if you want to get those there still is time I'll I always put my store below so check that out and then again check out these books for each of the holidays, pagan holidays of the wheel of the year. Really awesome. So, um, thank you for watching. Have a merry, blessed Yule. And please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Love you all. Bye.